This is question 58. A part. X, Y, Z are partners sharing profits and losses in the ratio of 3 is to 2 is to 2. They decide to admit W in for 1 sixth share. The following items appear in the balance sheet of the on the date of admission. General reserve, contingency reserve, profit and loss account, credit and advertisement, suspense account, debit 24,000. Pass necessary journal entry. Here, proper journal format will be there. A part first, general reserve rupees 36,000. General reserve account debited 36,000. To excess capital account rupees 18,000. To Y's capital account rupees 10,800. To Z's capital account rupees 7,200. Being general reserve transferred to partner's capital accounts in old ratio. General reserve is a liability balance. It is a undistributed profit. It is to be debited for cancellation and credited to old partners in old profit sharing ratio. Likewise, contingency reserve. Contingency reserve account debited rupees 6000. That is a credit balance that is debited for nullification. To excess capital account rupees 3000. To Y's capital account rupees 1800. To Z's capital account rupees 1200. Being contingency reserve transferred to partners capital accounts in old ratio. Being contingency reserve is a credit balance and undistributed profit debited for cancellation and credited to X, Y and Z's capital accounts in old profit sharing ratio. Then a third part profit and loss account debited it is a credit balance hence debited for cancellation by rupees 18,000 to X capital account rupees 9,000 to Y's capital account rupees 5,400 to Z's capital account rupees 3,600 being credit balance in profit and loss account transferred to partners capital accounts in old ratio this is Profit and loss account being credit balance debited. This is a accumulated profit and transferred to old partner's capital account in old ratio. Advertisement suspense account is always debit balance. Hence, this will be written off in the fourth point. That is X capital account debited rupees 12,000. Y's capital account debited rupees 7,200. Z's capital account debited rupees 4,800. To advertisement suspense account rupees 24,000. Being debit balance in advertisement suspense account debited to partner's capital account in old ratio rupees 24,000. Then this was a debit balance hence credited for cancellation and the, it is written up to partner's capital account hence partner's capital account are debited. Then B part, A and B are partners in a firm sharing profit in the ratio 4 is to 3 ratio. On 1st April 2016, they admitted C as a new partner. On that date of C's admission, the balance sheet of A and B showed a general reserve of rupees 84,000. And debit balance of 8400 in the profit and loss account. Pass necessary journal entries for treatment of the same as on C's admission. General reserve account will be debited and partner's capital account will be credited in old ratio and profit and loss account will be credited and debited to old partner's capital account A and B's capital account in old ratio. B first part. General reserve account debited rupees 84,000 to A's capital account to B's capital account in old ratio of rupees 48,000 and 36,000 the ratio being 4 is to 3. General reserve is a credit balance. It was debited for nullification purpose. It is nullified and it was credited to partner's capital account A and B as they will be getting. Now, the next one is there is a profit and loss account debit balance. It is to be written off. A's capital account debited, B's capital account debited to profit and loss account. The amount being 4800 in A and B rupees 3600 in the debit column and in the credit C's column that is rupees 8400. 
being debit balance in profit and loss account debited to partners capital accounts in old ratio a capital account debited b capital account debited to profit and loss account then c part give the journal entry to distribute workman's compensation reserve 72000 at the admission of, at the time of admission of z when there is no claim against it the firm has no has two partners x and y and the ratio is not given there is a workman compensation reserve which is a credit balance and usually is up this appears in the balance sheet and there is no liability on this head hence this is to be debited for cancellation and transfer to partners capital account by crediting in the old ratio that is c only one part that is this is only one part and workman compensation reserve account debited rupees 72000 to excess capital account to y's capital account in equal ratio of rupees 36000 each being workman compensation reserve transferred to partners capital accounts in old ratio hence the next next part is d part Where workman's compensation reserve is appearing in the books at rupees seventy two thousand, and the claim on this account is rupees forty eight thousand. Hence, workman's compensation reserve account debited seventy two thousand. The claim is to be adjusted out of that. That is to workman's compensation claim account forty eight thousand, to excess capital account rupees twelve thousand, to wise capital account twelve thousand seventy two thousand minus forty eight thousand. whatever remaining will be distributed among a and b in equal ratio it is distributed between x and y in equal ratio 1 is to 1 being workman compensation reserve transferred to partners capital accounts in old ratio after deducting claim then e part is Give the journal entry to distribute investment fluctuation reserve of twenty four hundred at the time of admission of Z. When investment market value one lakh ten thousand appears at one lakh twenty thousand, the firm has two partners X and Y. Here, in the E part, investment fluctuation reserve is a liability balance which is twenty four thousand. And market value of investment is one lakh ten thousand. It was actually appearing in the books in the asset side as one lakh twenty thousand. This ten thousand decrease in the value of investment will not be debited to revaluation account. It will be debited to investment fluctuation reserve account. And after deducting ten thousand decrease, we will have to distribute fourteen thousand among X and Y in equal ratio. Hence, investment fluctuation reserve account debited rupees twenty four thousand to investment account decrease in the value of investments ten rupees ten thousand to excess capital account rupees seven thousand to wise capital account rupees seven thousand. Being investment fluctuation reserve transferred to partners capital accounts in old ratio after deducting decrease in the value of investments. then f is give the journal entry to distribute general reserve of this much at the time of admission of z when 20% of general reserve is to be transferred to investment fluctuation reserve and the firm has two partners x and y and the ratio is not there that means equal this is general reserve will be debited first rupees 4800 general reserve account debited to investment fluctuation reserve account Out of this credit balance, it is to be finished. The general reserve is to be finished, and out of this, only twenty percent will be kept as a reserve for fluctuation of a investment fluctuation reserve. Twenty percent, that is nine hundred sixty. That is twenty percent of a forty-eight hundred. The rest is transferred to X capital account and to Y capital account in equal ratio. That is one is to one. That is rupees nineteen hundred twenty in the credit and column of X and Y. Being twenty percent of general reserve transferred to investment fluctuation reserve, and the rest transferred to partners capital accounts in old ratio. And in the G part, 
A, B and C were partners sharing profits and losses in the ratio of 6 is to 3 is to 1. They decided to take D into partnership with effect from 1st April 2017. The new profit sharing ratio between A, B, C and D will be 3 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1. They also decided to record the effect of the following without affecting book value by passing a single adjusting entry. Very good. We have to find out the gaining to sacrificing share. Now it will be sacrificing to gaining share. Sacrificing cap partners capital will be getting and gaining partners will be giving. Now G part. Here we have to adjust all this. I can show you. First we have to find out the ratio that is working in the working nodes old ratio of a b a b a is to b is to c that is 6 is to 3 is to 1 new ratio of a is to b is to c is to d is equal to 3 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 sacrificing ratio is equal to old ratio minus new ratio a sacrifice old share minus new share that is 6 by 10 minus 3 by 10 that is equal to 6 minus 3 by 10 that is equal to 3 by 10 B sacrifice is equal to old share minus new share. Old share is 3 by 10, new share is 3 by 10. That is equal to 3 minus 3 by 10 is equal to 0 by 10. And C sacrifice is equal to old share minus new share. That is equal to 1 by 10 minus 3 by 10. That is equal to LCM 10. That is, that is 1 minus 3 is equal to minus 2 by 10 gain. And the new partner coming into the business is D. Hence, this new share is his gaining share. <laughs> he is gaining. He had a zero share. Now he is getting one tenth. Zero minus one tenth is equal to minus one tenth. Gaining share one by ten. Hence, gaining ratio of a is to d is equal to two is to one. Sacrificing ratio of a is to b is equal to three is to zero. Amount to be adjusted. That is, you have to add all the amounts available in the question for general reserve, contingency reserve, profit and loss account, and you have to deduct. Advertisement suspense account debit 120,000. We have done that. Rupees 150,000 plus rupees 60,000 plus rupees 90,000 minus rupees 120,000 that is rupees 180,000. Hence, uh, this is amount to be adjusted is equal to rupees 150,000 plus 60,000 plus 90,000 minus rupees 120,000 that is equal to rupees 180,000. The next one is A's capital will be credited due to sacrificing for amount to be adjusted that is rupees 180,000 multiplied by 3 upon 10. That is equal to rupees 54,000. And C's capital will be debited due to gain for amount to be adjusted that is rupees 180,000 multiplied by 2 by 10 that is equal to rupees 36,000. And this capital will be debited due to gain for amount to be adjusted that is rupees 180,000 that is uh, multiplied by 1 by 10 that is equal to 18,000. Hence, after finding out this 36 plus 18 is equal to 54, we can pass the journal entry. This working note is over but go to your journal entry to see what journal entry passed will be passed that is for the G part. That is each current account debited rupees 36,000 because it is written capital are fixed and it is also written that you are to adjust the you are to pass the necessary single adjustment entry through the partner's current account. That is C's current account debited rupees 36,000, D's current account debited rupees 18,000. To A's current account rupees 54,000 being adjusting journal entry passed for reconstruction of a partnership and change in profit sharing ratio see working notes given below the totaling of the journal will be there the totaling of the amount will be it is to be total and these are not independent entries hence does not require these are all independent entries and not connected to each other this does not require totaling and this is the final answer